Come on into the library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come with me a story Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Mm. Does, does it make a sound? Ah, what have you got there, Jackson? Oh, uh, well, one of the children left it behind, but we don't know what it is for. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. Thank you. Uh, off to the top. Out of the old sticky poo. <gasps> wow! Mm. Ooh, bubbles! Bubbles! <laughs> yes, they are rather fun, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> Some are big, others are small, mm. and you can pop. Them too. <laughs> but Milton, mm. what else brings bubbles? Ah, hmm. well, let's see, shall we? <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, what do you think these are used for? Oh, um, I know, I know, for giving your car a bath. Oh, Jelly, mm. you mean washing the car. That's what I said, isn't it? <laughs> well done, both of you. Now then, shall we make a story using some of these? <gasps> oh, oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I need your help to make a really bubbly story. Are you ready to help? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> Great, it's a playbook. And it's called Washing the Car. Joshua and Jonathan were playing football in the garden. They heard noises in the kitchen and ran inside to see what Mum was doing. Mum was filling bowls with soapy, bubbly water. What are you doing? asked Jonathan. I'm going to wash the car. Do you want to help? Yes, please. Mum sent Jonathan to get the hose. Joshua helped Mum carry the bowls and sponges to the car. Mum said they needed to get the car soaking wet first. Joshua ran to the tap. Jonathan pointed the hose at the car. Joshua turned on the tap. Nothing happened for a second. Then suddenly a jet of water came gushing out. Jonathan sprayed the car with water. He felt a bit like a fireman putting out a great big fire. He sprayed the front, he sprayed the back, he sprayed the wheels, and then the windscreen. When Jonathan had finished, everyone picked up a sponge and started to clean the car with the soapy water. Everyone worked really hard. The car was having a bubble bath. First they cleaned the doors, then the windows, and the windscreen. They cleaned the front of the car and the back. Then they washed the wheels. Time for the hose again, said Mum. We need to rinse off all these bubbles. Joshua's turn this time. Jonathan can sit inside the car. The tap was turned on. As the water came gushing out, Joshua washed away the soapy bubbles. As he sprayed the windows, he saw Jonathan laughing inside the car. Jonathan liked the noise of the water hammering on the window. 
He pressed his nose against the glass and laughed again. He was nice and dry. Joshua rinsed the side of the car and moved round to the back. Then the water arched up and over the roof and showered Mum. Mum looked a bit cross, but then she started to laugh. She wasn't too wet after all. Sorry about that, Mum. Mum, Joshua, and Jonathan finished rinsing the car, then gave it a good old polish until it was sparkling clean. <laughs> oh, oh, I love bubbles. <laughs> oh, hey, Milton, I've thought of something else that makes lots of bubbles. Oh, yes, what's that? Shampoo. When I wash my hair, I like to make as many bubbles as possible. Mm. Oh, that's a good idea, Jackson. Ah, shampoo. I never thought of that. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it smells yummy. Um, oh, why don't we put it in the story machine and make another bubbly story? Just what I was going to suggest. Back in a mo. Now for the special ingredient. Imagination. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! It's a barnacle rock story called Lovely Bubbly. Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, a sweet smelling creature turned up. Rise and shine, barnacles under the sea. Here's more treasure, wake up, come and see. What, what have you found, Ellie? chimed the barnacles. Well, I don't know, replied Ellie. Ellie floated closer. The treasure lay half buried in the sand, wafting out wonderful whiffs. It was really colourful and had a label with letters on it. I wish I could read, Ellie sounded sad. I can read, called Electra as she sparked by. I found some sweet smelling treasure. What do you think it is? asked Ellie. Hmm. Electra swam up to the treasure and studied the letters carefully. Harry and the seahorse baby swam by. Morning all. What's that wonderful smell? Harry asked. Poo! cried Electra suddenly. All the sea creatures looked very shocked. Well... Harry looked stunned. That's very rude. Into the pouch with me at once. Not bad, whined the seahorse baby. I know all about poo. At once. Harry looked very cross. Do you think it's a poo fish? whispered Ellie. I've heard stories about them, Electra frowned. Suddenly, Popper Clam popped up and accidentally nudged the poo fish so it moved in the sand. <gasps> Look! shouted Electra. There are more letters. They must have been covered in sand. She gazed at the label again. Shampoo! She hissed. Never heard of it, said Harry. The people up top wash their hair with it. Popper Clam grinned. Because it makes the hair look all clean and shiny. shiny. <laughs> Gruff the pufferfish swam out from behind his slimy stone. How could a pufferfish sleep with all this kerfuffle? He grumbled. Hmm, what's this? He asked and he swam over to the shampoo. Then Gruff leaned on the shampoo and gave it a squeeze. Loads of magical bubbles floated out. The sea creatures were amazed. They swam this way and that, chasing the bubbles and popping them. This is fun, laughed Ellie. Thank you, Gruff. <laughs> Oh, they looked like they were having fun with the bubbles, didn't they? Oh, and look, mm. the children have been doing bubble prints. <gasps> they look like fun too. Yes, they are so pretty. Mm. Mm. And there's one mm. more thing that has lots of bubbles. Can you think what it is? No. Are you sure you don't know what it is, Jelly? Yes, I'm sure. Bath time! Oh, no, 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 Jackson, please don't make me have a bath. I hate baths. Please, please. I was 
wasn't going to make you have a birth, Jelly. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, why don't we make a story with one of those pictures? Ooh, hmm. Good idea. <laughs> Join in with the magic words. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Blue cow story. Blue cow's bubble bath. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, blue cow was looking at the still water in the drinking trough. I wonder what it would be like to see water spurting up into the air. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where there's water spurting up into the air, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a fountain. And then they arrived. There was an enormous fountain with a statue of a dolphin in the middle. But there was no water in the fountain. Instead, there was a man cleaning the dolphin. Hello, have you come to help? He said. I'd love to, but why isn't there any water in the fountain? It's been switched off. We'll turn it on again when we've finished. I'm Tom. Jump in and bring the soap with you. OK. I'm Blue Cow. Shall I put soap on the dolphin? Yes, please, said Tom. And using a bucket of water, they soaped and scrubbed the fountain. Splish, splash, splosh. She was having so much fun that she didn't notice the bar of soap on the floor. Moop! She slid across the fountain. Moof! She bumped into the tap. Gurgle, gurgle, whoosh! The water spurted out of the fountain and up into the air all over Blue Cow and Tom. Moo! -ay! No, the soap, cried Tom, but it was too late. Huge, great big bubbles started to appear. They were everywhere. Blue Cow and Tom were up to their necks in bubbles. <laughs> it's like being in a giant bubble bath, laughed Tom. <laughs> but much, much bubblier, cried Blue Cow. Oh, oh dear, look! Bubbles overflowed from the fountain and floated across the park. Soon everyone was having a giant bubble bath. <laughs> Not to worry, laughed Tom, switching the tap off. It'll all be back to normal soon, and we'll all be a little bit cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> See, Jelly, even Blue Cow had a great time in her bubble bath. Yes, well, maybe I will try it one day. Mm. Oh, but look at the time. <gasps> the children will be here soon. Mm. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories of fabulous, stories of fun. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.